What's up guys? So a lot of people have been asking what backend do I use, what's my favorite, and why I'm this video I want to explain what I'm using and why. So currently the backend that I like to use is plain old Express Linker and pair this with Express GraphQL with GraphQL and Node um, and Express together. This is my favorite pairing and if I were to start production by BAP today it'd be using this backend and I'm currently actually working on a project. So I want to go over what the alternatives are and how to use them. So one of them is I have used for a very long time um, and, see, and there's many others like this that are basically uh, backends that have a lot of built um, If we go to documentation we can see look at you emails, users, admin, uploads, features that Strapi comes with and same with Feathers.js stuff for you and it's really nice right and I actually really am very nice I actually haven't tried Strapi but it just looks nice from looking at it and I've used and I've really enjoyed but the main reason I'm them is because I want to use GraphQL um, I have projects that are not GraphQL I'm just much and think it's way better I would hate to make a back end with that. Um, it's kind of like when you try really good food. I want to go back and eat crappy food again. Now that you've tasted what I've tasted GraphQL, and I really like it, and I don't want to GraphQL anymore because I just like it so much. If I'm doing a project, well, so for that reason, I'm not using Feather to Strapy right now, and I won't be using any other, you know, Node or Python or Elixir, uh, back really set up for Rust. Um, to use GraphQL because notice, look, there's a little GraphQL section of GraphQL set on this. You can get GraphQL set up on Feathers. That's meant to use GraphQL. Um, they're meant not. To, they're meant to be REST frameworks. They're not meant to use GraphQL a section on GraphQL, but that's not their primary, you know, use case. So that's why I'm not using it now. An alternative, though. So that's that's the main thing. I like GraphQL. Now that we've established, like, I want to use GraphQL, what are my options I can use, right? Um, one of them is actually GraphQL, GraphQL, um, which is a serverless backend. And the reason for that is you just create the uh, GraphQL on their website here, and bam, you have it. And I think, I haven't tried this, but it looks super fast. Um, you know, GraphQL scheme sites and get tons of functionality super fast and holding, holding me back from using GraphQL and that is um, I can get a much better pricing if I were to build it on Express and put on AWS rather than going into Graph, you know, buying a package and then run it that way. They do have a nice, which I should definitely, you know, try it out and see how I like it too. But the one thing that's holding me back from GraphQL using this, I know I can get a much better price and run my application way more like way less using uh, AWS the Express uh, server but what I really like about this thing's way faster like you can get a server set up way faster than you can with Express that's just the fact like it, it's so you can hook up I mean you can see it here uh, OAuth and then with Apollo so this is a great option it if price doesn't matter to you but I want to build a very efficient low cost uh, backend and for that I like these two and on a minor note you get more control right? um, because I get to control every aspect of it that will you lose that, some of that because it's doing so much for you um, and right now this is what my current um, GraphQL if I were to do GraphQL this is what it would look like my server um, I'll put a link um, all the way to this last one um, add just add a join monster to this this is a very big file and a lot of this like I have Facebook off in here I'm not but this just gives you an idea this is what I like to use this uh, this is what the server looks like in Express and it's set up with Postgres SQL. So I really like this this is what I'm going to be using for future stuff that with backends services and why I am using this over some of the other options because a lot of options are still um, and I highly recommend using feathers or strappy like if I was not using GraphQL it would be a totally different story I would not be using Express I'd be using one of these guys but GraphQL that's right now and I, I'm loving it I love this setup right now GraphQL and uh, it's working really well for me so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions uh, um, I'll reply in the comments below and go